What's up? It's your boy, DeLeon. Um, my three most influential artists. Gosh, this is a loaded question. Like three, only I have to narrow it down to three. Well, I have to say um, definitely uh, Orlando Draper, being that my family is from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm, I'm a choir boy, so I um, grew up loving choir music, singing choir music. Um, and Orlando Draper being from Memphis was like the epitome of choir music for me. And um, he was the first person to really notice me as a little boy. And um, even though we lived in Atlanta, every, every single time they would come to Atlanta to sing, he would put me in front of the choir, on stage with him in front of the choir to sing with them. And that made such an uh, impact on my life, even as I got older. Um, then of course, there's um, a choir named Velma Watkins and the Angelic Gospel Community Choir. We were signed to Air Records back in the day. And um, Velma taught me discipline in music. Um, she would drag me around to the different conferences and sometimes some of our meetings as a little kid, as a, as a little boy in Atlanta. And I learned discipline in gospel and discipline in music. Um, and discipline in general under Reverend Velma Watkins and the Angelics. And then you have my founder, my pops, Ricky Dillard, um, who I was able to serve with for over 16 years as a member of the New G Corral. And um, definitely just his humility, um, his ability to love people and to um, show them grace, um, his ability to know how to... Um, just be himself as an artist. And um, no matter what people said or the, um, about him, his flamboyantness as a director and his style of directing and his style of music, he was consistent in being who he was as an artist. And so that's what taught me, um, even though my music is not per se choir music, and that's what it, I felt like many people expected me to do, I had to stay what the path that God gave me. And so Ricky Dillard taught me that even though our music is a lot, sometimes different, the, the, his consistency and being who God called him to be as an artist, um, really made a, a indelible impact on me. Um, if I wasn't a music maker, um, I don't know. I think I wanted to be a, a newscaster or a, um, a meteorologist, uh, at some point in my life. So, yeah, I don't know. Something like that or a talk show host maybe. And who knows, it may still come. I may still be in the making. So we'll see. So yeah, that's uh, my moment with Daily On. Uh, don't forget to get the new single, I Got It.